Now I am going to discuss about fifth problem. Three particles each of mass 100 grams are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle of side length 10 cm. Find the moment of inertia of the system about an axis passing through the centroid of the triangle and perpendicular to its plane. Okay, now I am going to draw a diagram here uh, like this. Three particles, hmm. each of mass 100 grams, 100 grams, 100 grams, and 100 grams are kept at the vertices of equilateral triangle side length. Side length is uh, 10 centimeters. So, uh, what is the moment of inertia? of the system about an axis passing through centroid of the triangle here this is nothing but centroid this is centroid okay i would like to here if the axis is passing through this point like this so this mass is at a distance of this much and this mass is at a distance of this much and the other mass is at a distance of this much these three distances are equal from the vertices and we need to find out this distance this distance this distance all are same let us consider this is r r r in order to find out this r value i am bisecting this length so this is 10 and this would be 5 centimeters so this total length would be okay i am going to find out like this uh, this one okay this is 10 centimeters and this is 5 centimeters and this would become under root of 10 square minus 5 square 10 square minus 5 square that is 100 minus 25 that is root 75 root 75 is nothing but how much 5 root 3 5 root 3 centimeters so this total length is 5 root 3 centimeters okay now i would like to find out only the length from here to centroid this length i need to find out this length so this centroid separates exactly one is to two ratio this will be in two parts length and this will be one part length so this is of total out of three parts this length would be two third of total distance r therefore now r is equal to two third of total length 5 root 3, 2 third of 5 root 3 centimeters. Okay. Once again, this centroid is uh, distributed in such a way that this would be divided in 1 is to 2 ratio. This would be 1 portion and this would be 2 portions of length. So, total out of 3 parts, this will be 2 parts and this will be 1 part. We need to find out 2 third of the distance of total distance 5 root 3 centimeters that r is equal to hmm, two third of five root three centimeters okay that is two into five ten centimeters divided by this uh, root three and one root three cancel ten by root three centimeters r is equal to ten by root three centimeters now all the particles all three particles are equidistance from centroid they are equidistance from centroid. R is same for all the three particles. 100 grams and this 100 grams and this 100 grams. Three particles are equidistance from centroid. So, moment of inertia of this one about the axis that is passing through centroid. And moment of inertia of this one about centroid. Moment of inertia of this third particle about centroid. So, total moment of inertia I is equal to 3 times m r square. Here, I is equal to 3 into, M is how much? 100 grams. 100 into 10 power minus 3 kilograms into R square. R is how much? 10 by root 3. 1 centimeter is nothing but 10 power minus 2 meters whole square. Okay. So, by solving this, you will get the answer in kg meter square. Okay. Now, I am going to solve the next problem. Now, sixth problem. 
what is sixth problem now see here uh, sixth problem is about four particles four particles each of mass 100 grams are placed at the corners of a square of side length uh, 10 centimeter four particles kept like this each of uh, mass how much each mass is 100 grams 100 grams 100 grams 100 grams like this okay and side length is 10 centimeters 10 centimeters 10 centimeters and 10 centimeters like this the question is find the moment of inertia of the system about an axis that is passing through center of the square and perpendicular to its plane uh, axis is passing through center of mass and perpendicular to its plane so axis is uh, like this so the distance from axis to this mass is this much and the distance from axis to this mass is this much and distance from axis to third mass is this much and distance from axis to fourth mass is this much and consider this is r this is r all are equidistance okay now i would like to find out this r value as this is 10 and this is also 10 this total length would be total length if this is 10 if this is also 10 this would be under root of 10 square plus 10 square that is uh, root 200 that means 10 root 2 centimeters but i would like to find out only half of this distance now r is equal to half of 10 root 2 centimeters 10 root 2 centimeters that r is equal to 10 by root 2 centimeters now 10 by root 2 centimeters now total moment of inertia total moment of inertia i is equal to how many such particles are there which are equidistant from center of the square four particles are there one two three four particles are there so four into mr square so here four m is how much 100 grams 100 into 10 power minus 3 kilograms into r is equal to how much 10 by root 2 centimeter centimeter is nothing but 10 power minus 2 meters whole square by solving this you will get the answer for uh, answer for moment of inertia of the system of particles right and find the radius of gyration radius of gyration we know total moment of inertia is nothing but 4 mr square so total moment of inertia is equal to mk square equal to 4 mr square this is for the total system moment of gyration of the system uh, right so here m and m get cancels okay so k square is equal to 4 r square so that k is equal to under root of 4 r square by doing this you will get the answer for radius of gyration okay next i'm going to solve a uh, seventh one now seventh one now now the seventh one is about uh, four particles uh, two uniform circular discs each of mass one kg and radius 20 centimeters are kept in contact about the tangent passing through point of contact both uh, one second yes both of them are two circular discs consider this is a circular disc and another circular disc is also there both are kept in contact each one mass is equal to how much 1 kg and radius r is equal to 20 centimeters that is nothing but 0 0.2 meters okay we know moment of inertia of the disc if axis passing through center and perpendicular to its plane is nothing but mr square by 2 mr square by 2 okay now the question is Two circular discs each of mass 1 kg radius 20 centimeters are kept in contact about the tangent that is passing through the point of contact tangent is uh, passing through the point of contact like this okay now um, so find the moment of inertia of the system about the tangent 
passing through the point of contact. We need to find out the moment of inertia about this axis. Okay. In order to find this, we need to know moment of inertia of this disc about the about the diameter and moment of inertia of this disc about this diameter okay now we know that moment of inertia of the disc moment of inertia of a disc about diameter about diameter we have discussed this in the previous class that moment of inertia of disc about diameter is given by about diameter is given by mr square by 4 mr square by 4 so now we can apply parallel axis theorem for this one as the axis is passing through this point okay and this distance is nothing but what r distance between these two parallel axis is nothing but r so now i am applying parallel axis theorem so ip equal to this is for one this is for one disc only for one disc this uh, moment of inertia of the system of the disc if axis is passing through center of mass is given by how much center of mass and along the diameter is given by mr square by 4 plus plus mass into square of the distance between two axes what is the square of the distance between two axes mr square this is 5 by 4 mr square so this is the moment of inertia of one one disc for two discs for two discs total moment of inertia that is net moment of inertia is equal to two times of five by four mr square and this is the answer this would be the answer by solving this you will get the answer for total moment of inertia if you substitute m and r m is given as 1 kg r is given as 0 0.2 meters okay next uh, now i'm going to discuss about uh, next problem eighth problem now now the eighth problem is eighth problem yes what is eighth problem here four spheres each diameter 2a and mass m are placed with their centers of the hmm, four spheres solid spheres each diameter 2a so radius is a and mass m are placed with their centers on the four corners of the square of the side b yes the question is like this let us take a square square side length is b yes four spheres with diameter to a that means radius is a radius is a with mass m are placed with their center centers of the spheres are placed on the four corners of the square four corners of the square so the center of the sphere is located at one corner another sphere center located at another corner of the square this is third corner and this is fourth corner what is the radius of this sphere a as the diameter is 2a radius is a okay mass of each uh, sphere is m let us consider this is solid sphere solid sphere okay the moment of inertia of solid sphere is given by 2 by 5 mr square 2 by 5 mr square now the question is calculate the moment of inertia of the system about any side of the square moment of inertia of the system about any side of the square i am going to find out moment of inertia of the system about this side this side of the square okay okay now moment of inertia sorry moment of inertia of four spheres are nothing but 4 into 2 by 5 mr square if axis is passing through the centers okay now net moment of inertia i is equal to 
yes 4 into 2 by 5 mr square plus this mass is at a distance of b from axis so m into b square mb square mb square plus this mass this mass is at a distance of b from axis of rotation so for this the moment of inertia is mb square again this mass is on the axis so moment of inertia is zero for that this mass is also at the axis okay so net moment of inertia is equal to i found moment of inertia individual moment of inertia of all the particles okay each for each sphere 2 by 5 mr square for four spheres it is 4 into 2 by 5 mr square that is 8 by 5 mr square r is nothing but here what is r a radius of the sphere is a 8 by 5 ma square plus mb square plus mb square now i applied parallax theorem so this is at a distance of mb square b from this axis and this is also at a distance of b from this axis mb square plus mb square is nothing but 2 mb square this is the answer for the eighth one